Now, if you have actually somewhat working code, you may like see this like brilliantly flashing colors on the screen as it's like going as fast as the computer can render it. That's kind of hard to watch, and it's hard to see what's going on. I think what I'd rather do is actually have it pause in between each step and then do the next repaint. So to do that, uh, right after I repaint the frame, there's a command in thread called sleep. Not slap, sleep. There we go. And it asks you how many milliseconds to wait between for at this point. So I'm going to wait half a second. There's a possibility this might cause an error, so I have to surround it with a try catch block, kind of like the way I do with read line. So I do try, try to do that. If it breaks, I want you to catch all exceptions. I will name that ex, and I'll just print out if something went horribly, horribly wrong. There's a possibility that if one thread interrupts each another one at exactly the wrong time, you might get a strange error. So now I'm able to start another thread, and I'm able to click on buttons. That's super cool. I'm able to set this delay. You can set this delay to whatever you want. If you want it to be faster or slower, just change this number here. This is milliseconds. Now what about stopping? What I'd like to do is when I hit the stop button, I want it to actually stop running everything. So this is not going to work, this true equals true thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a Boolean that keeps track of whether or not the simulation is running. And I'm going to put that inside this while loop. Um, I'm going to be using this in action performed, so this needs to be a global variable. So I'm going to create it out here with the rest of my stuff. So a Boolean uh, running is false to start with. This guy's job is just to make sure that if the start button gets pressed, it starts running and just runs that loop over and over again. And then when I hit the stop button, it's just going to set running to false, so it goes out of the side that while loop. So here I'm going to say, if running is true, do this thing. And then when I hit the start button, I'm going to set that to true. So in the run method, while running is true, keep doing this over and over again. I set it to true when I hit the start button. And then the only thing I need to do in the stop button is just set running to false. So I'm going to put that in real quick. If the source of my click was stop, running equals false. And I'm pretty sure this won't work on mine because I don't have a complete. OK, so that is the way the threads work. So I can start a thread, make it run, stop should finish it. Now there is a subtle bug here, which has to do with hitting the step button midway through the start or hitting the start button multiple times. So at the moment, if I hit the start button multiple times, every time I hit it, it will start a new thread. And each of those threads will constantly be updating and fighting each other for the CPU time over and over and over again. So what I probably want to do is to make it so that all of these threads, like you can only start one thread if you haven't started any others. So I want to check to make sure that in the step button, I want to make sure if running is false, you're allowed to do this, but not otherwise so that I don't run into that problem. And the same is true with the Start button. Because if I already have a thread started, I don't want to be able to hit it over and over and over again. You could do that. But it turns out that it will actually break the simulation. So here's why. If I don't put that guard in, let's say I hit the Start button, and it starts checking along here, it gets to about here. I hit the start button again. That thread, maybe that one gets to about here. This thread that was going along finishes up over here. And they're constantly competing for the same resource. So one will be halfway through updating the grid when the other one is checking its whether it's true or false. And 
The thing about threads is you don't have control over when they're executing Windows does. And who knows when it decides to stop and start all of these different threads. Uh, so you want to be careful about that. Let's see. So we've got multiple threads. We've got action listeners, mouse listeners, all sorts of cool stuff. That should be everything you need for Conway's life. And pretty soon you'll be able to make those cool patterns that you found on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs>